edification. This is a platform where renowned anointed men of God share with you secrets for success and impact in life and destiny. Workplace and career wisdom. What kind of wisdom does a person need in the workplace and in life and career generally? It is crucial for every one of us to have enough wisdom to be successful in the workplace for three reasons. That is, as children of God, it is important for you to be wise enough to succeed in the work of your hands for three reasons. Number one, you exist as a representative of the kingdom in character, conduct, and action at the workplace. You exist as a representative of the kingdom of God. The Bible said we are the light of the world. You exist as a representative of the kingdom of God in character, conduct, and action at the workplace. So everybody is watching you. That is why they tell some Christians at times, and he calls himself a Christian, coming late to work. You represent the kingdom, actually, in character, conduct, action, and output, output or performance at the workplace. Your, 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 your responsibility is to ensure that you are not a reproach to God. In the eyes of your, of your employer, your, your, your superior, or your contemporaries. To ensure you are not a reproach to God, or a reproach to the name of God, in your character, in your conduct, in your performance at duty. Why is it important for us to have wisdom for success at the workplace number two? Because you exist as a light bearer or a road pointer. A light bearer or a road pointer. Now complete it. A light bearer and road pointer for the ungodly at the workplace. A light bearer and the road pointer for the ungodly or to the ungodly or for the ungodly at the, at the workplace. It is the duty of the child of God to show the world how to work. We are to show them how to be employers, how to be superiors and how to be employees. For we are the light of the world, a city set on a hill shall not be healed. We are to show the world how to serve we are to be pace setters not pace keepers we don't keep pace with the unbelievers we set pace for them the challenge is that many children of god are being colonized by their unbelieving colleagues colonized they are they are, they are looking at their unbelieving colleagues as examples they come late and write wrong date of arrival to duty you also come late and you behave like them no sir the unbeliever is to know how to be an employee seeing how a believer employee operates they should see daniel and know what faithfulness at duty mean they should see joseph and know what it means to be a servant of god in the workplace they should see david and know what it means that is why the wisdom to succeed at the workplace is important, number two. And number three, we, you are to excel 
and rise to your full God-given potential of authority. You are to excel and rise to your full God-given potential and authority. What is the meaning of that? Every child of God is meant to be in charge. Or rather, your destiny is to be in charge of your organization. If you are a, if you are a, a professor today, becoming the vice chancellor is your destiny. Am I communicating? If you are a businessman today, becoming a billionaire, employer of labor, industrialist is your portion. But God wants us to excel and rise and take our position of authority like Daniel so that we can influence systems from the top down. Because we have said all the time, it is easier for the superior to influence the subordinate than for the subordinate to influence the superior through or false. Between the driver and the ogre, who can easily say, follow me to church? Very easy. Who can easily say, I have a thanksgiving in my church this Sunday. All the people in the office, please, I want, I'm inviting you. Very easily, the man at the top. Who can easily say we have a prayer meeting by 12 to 1 in this office today? The man at the top. So if your life is difficult as far as impact is concerned when you are under. Your condition, your situation is difficult. As far as impacting your generation is concerned. As long as you remain under. So God wants us to connect this wisdom and excel and go to the top, then from there we can impact our world. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Edification.